Hello everybody and welcome to Screencast Online. My name is Richard and today we're going to be looking at Notability for iOS. So Notability has been around for a number of years now and they really have iterated on the feature set that they have provided. Most recently, the ability to search handwritten notes and split screen and drag and drop on the iPad. I'm really looking forward to taking you through the paces in this application. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So I am in the iOS app store at the moment and I did a quick search for Notability and then heading on over to that product page. Let's break this page down into a few sections. First of which is a little summary at the top and showing that it's got around about 3.8 out of five. So pretty much four out of five, which is really good for an app. The next section is what's new and they've introduced circles and straight line features which can be auto-corrected into perfect circles, which is really useful. Improved pinch to zoom, keyboard shortcuts, word count, and so forth. Lots of new things keeping on being done by Ginger Labs. And then we have a preview section, which has some videos in here. And I find videos really handy just so that I can see what the app can actually do. Screenshots really can't tell you heaps apart from seeing the interface and a static shot of what the app can actually do, whereas a video can give you a really good indication of what the app is capable of. Let's head on down so we get to the product description. And again, this is really handy simply because if there's something that you're looking for in particular about a handwriting app, then if it's not in here, then you know that you need to search for a different product. Finally, we've got the ratings and review section which is really useful now because you have two-way communication between developer and product reviewer. So say, for example, a product reviewer says it hasn't got this particular feature, but they've missed it. So instead of the developer just shouting into the ether, they can have a two-way conversation with the product reviewer telling them where that particular feature is. So now that we've just had a snapshot of the app in the iOS App Store, let's head on over to the app itself and have a look at the interface and its settings. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member. <laughs> 